Sit. Where are you going? Bubby, sit. Sit your butt down. Milton. Sit. Good boy. I don't even know how. Are you a good boy? Are you? Are you? Are you? Mitty. Madeline. Madeline. Madeline, look at me. Madeline. Madeline. There's my baby girl. There's my baby. Don't come here. No, don't come here. I don't want you. No. Oh, my good girl. <laughs> oh. oh. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning and happy Mother's Day to all of the beautiful mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to my mother in particular. She's ridiculous, but I literally wouldn't have it any other way. You guys, I am so proud of myself. Like, I went all of last week with no artificial sweeteners, no Zip Fizz, no Powerades or ice drinks, no Jello, no gum. Like, I actually did it. I didn't get to day four or five and a half and been like, you know what? I'm already here. Like, I, I, I can make it. I showed myself that I can make it. So what's an ice drink gonna do, you know? Like I literally stuck to it the whole time and I'm so proud of myself and that just goes to show all you gotta do is set small goals, just set little goals and achieve those goals and it gives you the confidence to set larger goals and to start achieving those goals. Uh, so guys, speaking of goals for the week, I have decided to continue with the no ice drink Powerade or gum situation. I know, right? So that means that I am going to reincorporate the Zip Fizz. We all knew that was coming. Uh, and I am going to do the uh, Jello. Jello wasn't really triggering me the way that I felt the ice drinks and the Powerade was. And then the gum is just an extra challenge to not feel like I have to be chewing all the time, right? So I'm going to continue with that and I am feeling really good about it. But I'm also feeling really good because I have not had a Zip Fizz since last Sunday. Since the last time you, you guys saw me right here, a Zip Fizz has not graced these lips. But that's about to change. All right, everyone, get your Zip Fizz. Today I am having, oh, let, oh, fruit punch. Oh, oh, I haven't had fruit punch in a long time. And I'm really excited. I'm extra excited about this because I just, I have not had a Zip Fizz in a week that will never happen again you guys i'm just gonna go out on a limb and say i there will never be seven whole days where i don't have a zip fizz ever again so go ahead and prepare your drink and get my bottle opener oh yeah i'm just i'm so excited will i remember how to do it it's been so long has it left my memory okay. oh it's like riding a bike oh you can do it oh God. oh yeah oh yeah mm. Okay guys, shake it like you have not shaken it in a week. Shake it like you miss shaking it, like it was one of the best things in your life, okay? In three, two, one. It feels so good, it feels so good. To the best things in your life. It's just like I remember you guys. It's so tangy and delicious and tasty. Oh, the electrolytes, I can feel them already. <laughs> okay guys, enough of that. I am going to the gym. I am going to Meyer. We're having Mother's Day lunch. Nope, we're having, is it lunch? You guys, what do you call a meal that you eat at 3.30? Like, I'm not convinced that's dinner, okay? We're having Mother's Day dinner at my mom's house. I am keeping it keto. I will show all of it to you for accountability. Uh, and then, did I say meal prep? Hello, that's the purpose of this video. <sighs> Off to the gym, you guys. Hey guys, just got out of the gym great quick workout incline treadmill i think i may have officially upped my speed to 3.3 and up my starting incline to four like 
you know, I'm just so excited to keep improving and all you gotta make is just little, little adjustments here and there and you will continue to challenge yourself and I'm really excited about that. This week for meal prep, I already know meal number one. It is the same sausage, bacon, eggs. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. For meal number two, I will say, since I did not have artificial sweeteners last week, I was like, I gotta bulk it up, okay? I gotta get some volume. And so I had rice cauliflower and broccoli as vegetables and then a meat, which was salmon, which was so good. But I will tell you that broccoli and cauliflower not only tasted delicious, A, but it was very mentally satisfying because like my entire plate was filled with food. And it was a big plate too. Not one of them little plates I had to trick myself into like filling up to make sure, you know, to, to mentally feel like I was eating a lot, but like, you can get away with a lot of volume when you're eating low calorie food such as vegetables but don't worry okay because i did drench those things in butter and it was just plain delicious i love broccoli and cauliflower and i think i want chicken as my protein so i'm going to get some chicken and lord knows what i'm gonna do with it you know right now but i'm at least gonna buy it and see uh what hits me maybe it'll go in the crock pot oh, i don't know maybe i'll just do it on the stove because that's a lot quicker so i got a lot to do today meyer get my hair done go to the shop mother's day cook for mother's day mother's day meal prep so let's get going Okay guys, I am at my mom's house. Uh, my whole family is here. We have Mother's Day celebration at my mom's house every year. And some years I'm off plan, but not today, not this year. So out of all of the delicious stuff that was up there, I stuck with the roasted broccoli and my mom made keto meatloaf. Isn't that the sweetest? So I'm very excited about that. Um, you know what? There were some things up there I wouldn't have minded, like the, the Sister Schubert's rolls the macaroni and cheese. You know, I might have indulged in other times, but will I have Sister Schubert's and macaroni and cheese again in my life? Yes. Do I need to have them right now when I'm going for a specific goal? No, I don't need to have them. So sometimes they get skipped and that is okay. I'm feeling good. Oh, I'm also feeling good because I am having a diet ginger ale today. So this is kind of like a splurge. I also made some keto peanut butter cookies that I'm gonna have for dessert and I will show you those. But like, sometimes you go off plan and sometimes you don't and that is okay. And this meat smells delicious. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this and then I gotta get home and do meal prep and I have to go back to the shop. Like today is shaping up to be a super busy day but I'm gonna spend some time with my family and then right back to it. Speaking of mothers, you guys, oh, look who dropped by. Well, hello. they didn't drop by. This is her house, so. Yes. Hi, hello. Mom. Hello. Hello. I wish everybody happy Mother's Day. Yes, for all those mothers out there, happy Mother's Day to you all. Mama, are you eating keto today or are you off plan? Half keto, half. Mm, hate half. to break it to you. It's either off keto or not keto. Well, not keto. Not keto. Okay, not that's today. Okay. Not today. Off keto one day, it's not gonna do nothing, all right? So enjoy your day, mothers yes. out there. And then we're right back on tomorrow. Yes, have your macaroni and cheese. See, I just talked about the have macaroni Have your and rolls, cheese. I just, the bread. They're lit, she knows, those are lit, I just literally named those. Yes, but, because they're delicious. Um, I mean, 
pee. Everybody, this is my mama. I'm literally her. I mean, come on, yeah. Guys. So I'm going to partake Good in, in a sample of macaroni Good and cheese for you. and rolls. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, guys, I am back. I have finished my meat loaves and my broccoli, which I made, by the way. I made the roasted broccoli and I made some keto peanut butter cookies. Can you see those? This is a keto peanut butter cookie. It was so good and it was only three ingredients. Number one, a cup of peanut butter. This is that chunky peanut butter I love so much. Number two, the directions call for a half a cup of powdered erythritol, but I used a quarter cup of pure and I put it in a spice grinder to make it powder pure and then one egg. You literally just mix those three things up, a cup of peanut butter, a half a cup of sweetener and one egg and you mix it up and you bake it at 350 for like, I think I did these for 14 minutes. Okay, everyone, I'm about to leave my mother's house, but I couldn't leave without introducing you to my favorite person, baby girl, baby girl. So this is girl. Girl is, we're gonna say the neighbor's cat across the street, but like that also just comes over and hangs out with mom. Like, what is she doing, girl? And we're also pretty sure at this point that girl is a boy named Alex, but we call her baby girl because that's what we thought she was when we first saw her. Oh, baby girl. Oh, baby girl. You're such a good baby girl. Even though I'm sure you're a boy. Right, guys it rarely happens but today I ran out of time like I did not complete meal prep but I'm stopping because I'm tired uh, I was really about to cut up and prepare that chicken and I just thought like you know what I don't want to like I really don't want to and then I thought hmm why don't I just let time cook the chicken you know so I just threw the chicken in a crock pot with some chicken broth for liquid put some jalapenos and jalapeno juice in there and just some Cajun seasoning for flavor and like, I will check on that in the morning. It's gonna be salty, spicy chicken and that's all that really matters. So that's gonna be part of meal two and let's see what else we got. Also a part of meal two, I have delicious broccoli that you saw I just like blanch boiled in a pot as well as some rice cauliflower that I mixed in with butter and sour cream. I'm very excited about that. Bringing it over to meal one, uh, which came first, the eggs or the scrambled egg meal prep. Uh, I just did not feel like making these tonight. So I will prepare them when it is time for me to eat my scrambled egg meal for the first time. We have eggs, we have bacon, we have sausage. For snacks, I got my pepperoni, I got my cheese sticks. I have Zevia for the drinks. Um, I actually had enough cookies left over from Mother's Day to be like, hmm, why don't I just use those in my meal prep? So I'm gonna have peanut butter cookies. I got Jello coming back. Oh, and the Zip Fizz stands alone. So I'm really excited about integrating that back into my day. Overall, today was a busy but great day. I got to see my family, hang out for a little bit. I got all my work done. I got to go to the gym. I got my hair did. So like, some days are busier than others, but you can always make time to do what it takes to reach your goals, okay? Amen. All right, I am putting all this stuff up and I'm going to sleep immediately. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next time.